Well, get a load of that. That is the muscled up world of WWE wrestling. And it came to Brisbane last night, bringing with it a score of bumps and bruises. Now, of course, only a chosen few are ever allowed into the ring. And you won't be surprised to hear that that included our very own Mike Dalton. The crash of chassis on campus reverberated through the Brisbane Entertainment Centre as the best in wrestling duked it out in the squared circle. And one of the biggest of them all in the WWE was the seven foot, 444 pound Big Joe. Big Joe, great pleasure to see you. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Lighten up. What's going on? Sorry, you're just very big. It wasn't long before the show was putting the strength about his close to 20 years in the business of wrestling. I had a little bit of an aptitude for it. I was a good athlete and I was a natural show off, so it uh, put two and two together and I worked out and somehow manifested a great career and still don't know how I did it. Do you enjoy it? I love what I do. I mean, you know, sometimes you play the role of a bad guy and, and you lose a little bit of the the experience of feeling the love from the fans, and then sometimes, you know, you can get that same feeling by being the bad guy when they hate you. I did have to raise some past issues. That you do have some issues with anger management. <laughs> it's just been called. <laughs> Luckily, I bumped into up-and-comer Zack Ryder. Just have a quick chin wag with you, by chance? Yeah, no problem, bro. I got lucky. I started training in 2003 back in New York, and I got signed to WWE in 2006. So it's only three years, but for many people, you know, it takes five years, 10 years, 15 years. Some people never get signed, you know, so you never know if you're going to make it. Given Zach had helped me out after my misunderstanding with the big show, I felt it only right to talk him up to the locals. But only after I'd staged my own entrance with appropriate Today Show teams. Zach's opponent, Daniel Byrne, whinged and moaned as expected. Daniel Byrne would like for me to inform you that he does not have a goat face. Goat face! Goat face! Before Zach took out the trash. He's a wild and crazy guy, uh, Mike Dalton.